Through the powers of the Divine High Majesty, the Almighty Creator of all things. This morning, whoever the item conceive the item God to be, now is the time. Now is the time to stand up for God, people. See? They are them now and get the pint, my lord. They are them now and get the pint, Jamaican people. So, at the next level, we have to take it to now. Those videos that the items seem to share. I'm sharing them so that you guys can have an understanding of what I go through when I say something. When Queen Ifrika says something, this is what I go through. For standing up for young people in this country. For standing up for women in this country. For boys in this country who are raped, abused, and no one is looking. So I want to say to the ones them that looking at the video, those videos are putting and talking about I need to go do music and I need to leave it alone and I need to not, not let people not go down to them level. I am their level. 
I come from there, so I come from where those are the Jamaicans that I am trying to help from my little space. The people who all of this matter to exist in this country. The kids them when not have no one to stand up with them, to talk to these powers that be and tell them that they need to set up policies and legislations to in law to so that you don't have perverts like these who have access to our children so easily. From the moment I came into this industry, all that I have been lending my voice to and my space to is to help my country as a fellow Jamaican to see my country become better, to see the potential when my country have realized and there are so many people here on this island that can do it and instead every time a voice is lifted up to say something on behalf of this nation, Uno come down pan we and uno make it look like say a we are the ones them we a be a the per, see the pervert them the one share to uno. See the pervert them the one share to uno. They are them I hear me clear. You know something? There is a generational curse on this island we need to break. And the reason why it can't break is because it did set up it did set up for this kind of outcome. It did set up for the country look like this. It did set up for bring the country to its knees. So that is why most of you encouraging me to walk away. But let me give you one story this morning out of my life why I now walk away. I'm going to give you no one story today on the 25th of August, 2023. And mark my word after me tell you this today, say, you don't no have to like me, you don't no have to deal with me for the rest of my time in a, in a life until me try the earth. But I'm going to tell you no one of my story, them, why I'm not, why I'm not Lego when I'm Lego. Why I don't stop? Why I don't ease up? It's personal to me. And if you know, say it's personal to thousands more here in this island who do not have any help. So let me tell you one personal story about Queen Africa. Ventries, Morgan, Goody Two Shoes. My name is Ventries Morgan, don't. My name is Queen Africa, don't. See? That's my name. Alright, so watch this. I'm 48 years of age. Born and raised from the rock, your name, Jamaica. Never feel like no slave from the day I'm born. I never know what it feel like to feel like a slave. See? I want to know, listen to that little something I'm going to say right now. And when I talk it, I'm going to stop talking for the rest of the year. You see, after me said this, when me said this morning, 
Me not care where me see. Me not say nothing more for the rest of the year. Anything we may have to say for the rest of the year. I forgot to be totally where the Almighty said for say. So if you can share the live here and save it, it's a historic moment for me personally right now. I'm fed up, I'm tired, I want to see a guan in my country. I watch everyone who could have made a difference, either dead or if you run away or if you turn aside or just give up. We don't know we give up feel like. We don't know we stop do it feel like. We don't know we turn from God feel like. I have never done any evil in front of the face of the Almighty Creator. From a barn out of my mother, me I tried one road away. Me no overs it, but me no fight it. My born out of a very prominent family here on the island, Derek Morgan, the skeleton is my father. Derek Morgan, responsible for letting in and introducing Bob Marley. But my father sing the first independent song of this country. That is who Queen Africa father is. O.D. My family not small. We don't ever see any of my family them from Derek Morgan's side. Come out and defend me in a no way, shape or form. No want someone tell me if them ever see Derek Morgan. Family them. I have more than 17 brothers and sisters. Who don't ever see one of them. Well, big up yourself, Michelle Morgan. I love you, baby. You're my big sister, but I got to do this. See? So I am here to this throne of Jamaican music by DNA rights. Me are not a celebrity overnight. Me born a celebrity. So listen to this. Why is Queen Africa does always not stopping, not moving back, no matter what? She keep pushing, she keep saying, do better by my country. Do, you know why? Because I identify with the part of my country that you all are standing on and looking on and watching die. And I refuse to die with them. So me live, so me live, me live, me live, so that youths can see, so you can live after atrocities. You can live after anything will happen into you in your life. You can live. You don't have to be a victim of your circumstances. You can rise above it. You can stand up and say, I am proud of myself for going through all the things that I've been through. But I can stand up and say, because I love myself so much, you did not get me to feel myself. I never knew my father when I was growing up. I was only always hearing about the fact that I have a father that is famous. And God rest the soul of my grandfather, Mr. Gibson Walsh, who always, always reminded me that I was the girl for the money. He always used to say, you are the girl for the money.
I never knew my father when I was growing up. All of my other siblings, not siblings, some of my cousins and so, they had even I they, they met their dad, they, they had argued conversations with their dad. I never knew my father. I never knew my mother. I never had a mother and a father around when I was growing up. It was just family members. And this morning, I will make my first attempt to contribute to the breaking of this generational curse of darkness. We sit down over a particular set of Jamaican women and men that cause predators to, to lurk in our families' lives, them in our families, them, and you have the families divided and split down the middle because no one wants to stand up and speak the truth and help the family members that are suffering from all the different types of tell you, Dregwan, in some family. So I'm going to tell you this morning why me no walk away and me will never walk away till this over. I tried everything to meet my father, Derek Morgan. You hear what name? Derek Morgan. You see where there's something downtown, downtown name? It named Derek Morgan too. That is why I say me never want to call it name. But when me look into it, me as he say, why God would have choose to make a creature like this surface you know named Derek Morgan? What is God saying to me? What is the Almighty saying to me why this creature appear named Derek Morgan of all names? And me going on myself and me look and me say, Boy, Queen. You have to really wait a little bit, you know. But you see, when I'm looking at the urgency of things right now, I ain't waiting. I ain't waiting. So let me tell you this now. See? I've always wanted to meet my father. I've always wanted to meet my father. My mother never wanted to meet him, want me to meet him, because she was so angry with him. She hated him so much because of how he, he treated her. And I became the victim of that. I became the victim of that. The victim of the hatred between my mother and, and my father ended up on my shoulder. I had to deal with her hatred for him based on how she would deal with me. See? But I still love my mother and I never diss my mother yet. No matter what my mother do me, I never diss her yet. See? I always love my mother up until the day she died. I forgive her for everything before she died. That's why I could arrest in my heart. See? When I wanted her to take me to meet Derek Morgan, she never wanted me to she never wanted to take me. So I had to find a way to go and meet him for myself at a stage show in, in downtown. And when I met him, I went to him hotel and I asked him why he neglect me over all these years. See? And him just say he did married and have children and him couldn't make him wife no say he did a deal with them something there. So that's why he did tell me mother fear about me. Because he did tell me mother fear about me. See? So see me up on the back of the field for the most high. Because she never about me. See? After I meet him, I start 
get to know him, you know, because at the first, me have a father figure in my life, and then at the great Derek Morgan, at the great Scar Legend, Column of the Music, Column. Is him sing the first independent song for Jamaica. That's why we need to crash independence. We need to, we need to, we need to, we need to make them know say right now we are change around independence. Cause it never benefit we. After me start link up with him and him come when him come Jamaica, I link him up and thing and you don't know me I get to know my father, when me never have before. And my grandfather was my father. And when him dead, me never have no father left. You see me? So. I start link up with my father. And I start to love my father. Call me and say, you know. See me and now. I have a father. And. One day, Greenwich Farm, 9th Street. I went to visit him when he was in Jamaica on one of them visits. Went to him house over Greenwich Farm, 9th Street. I'm dead there with him the day and I end up spending the whole day with him because I don't know I'm a father. I mean, I get to know him. And then the telling of the hours in the night. Because them time they meet to honorable. Them time they meet to honorable. But me and him never did start going on dealings or none of them kind of something like that. And the night, the day I'm dead with my father, and the hours come down, and I'm supposed to take a taxi to come up in Bukal. And he looked for me and he said, Nah, man, you might go down, you're too late, stay. It's too late, man. Stay. You better you stay and go in the morning. Remember now, I'm a father, don't. So, from my father, I said, Bill, me a bill, don't. And, they there, and, you know, once and once pass through and them leave and thing and, you know, the hours now, like, you know, I got one room and I got one bed. So in the hours I go to bed, I go lay down on the bed. My father never got to bed, never ready to go to bed yet. And the next thing I wake up to in the hours is with, with my father, I penetrate me. I wake up in the hours to my father trying to penetrate me sexually. Hold me down in the bed. I have sex with me and tell me, say, and tell me, say, His wife now have no sex with him, so. He must do it with me. No one understand that he don't touch me there. I'm gonna tell on you one day, I swear. Can't you see I'm scared you're supposed to be my father, though? My 
My life has been a hell since that moment. And from that moment, I begin to fight for myself. Because I have to say, yo, if me drop too much, I go drop with me. So I have to hold it down. So I hold it for the sake of everything and everyone. I've been holding it for the sake of everything and everyone. When are we going to break this generational curse of rape and incest in our family then? And continue to re-victimize the people them who go through the darkest things them. Who not dead when them things they are happen. Who not dead when them things they are happen. But who not dead if you laugh after we. You know, they have to thump with them and kick with them and re-victimize with. Because we choose not to be a victim of the circumstances. I have been trying to get my family to bring Derek Morgan to the book. To say, why did you do that? And when is it going to stop in our family then? The good family members them need to come together and show out the bad family members them who continue to do things like these and grow all kind of terrible victims of society. And instead of there is some people there to help, to fix it and to fix people like myself. Who have to live with this for the rest of my life. Me have to live with this for the rest of my life. While me have a brother named Merrick Morgan. Who is also a victim of rape in the family. He is going to come on social media. And see me put up a text. A, a, a post about rape of the children here in Jamaica and the fact that we do not want homosexuality to legalize down here because too much pervert in the high places down here. My brother is going to text. None of them never come out and can defend me yet with all the way I got to. But my brother is going to come on social media underneath my post and write, say, if ignorant people like Queen Africa, Merrick Morgan, me tell you in a private, say, you never did go get to me, never did go take it no more from the Morgan family. And if the, if the good Morgan, them, in you know, the Morgan family, do not stand up and defend the good name, of the Morgan family, because even though Derek Morgan is the head of the family and everybody is protecting Derek Morgan, is a pervert. My father, Derek Morgan, is a pervert. You know, you hear me say, me never had to stop. You know, you hear me say, it's a purpose and a reason God have me for. And comes what me. The truth must realize and some of the children them in Jamaica must be free from this rape we don't have with them under down here. You know things that I can't, I can't talk my story, man. I have one. I have a story, but I refuse to suffer in silence while the people that hurt me behave like not never happened. And want me to mad out and want me to lose myself and want me to go turn war and prostitute and don't love myself. I am not what happened to me. These things happen to me. It does not define me. So I want to tell anyone that is watching this right now, say, the things that happen to you in life, 
should not define you, but should help you to be a better person for yourself first and then for your surroundings. I love my family. I tried, I've been trying for years since the incident happened with my father to get the family to sit him down and to ask him why he did it and if he's going to say sorry. And all them do is defend him. My other brother, when he court me Morgan, he called my phone and threatened me. Say, 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 say our father, not, say our father not, not going to be a, a martyr for me. So why am I going to fly, come to Jamaica, come do me? Courtney Morgan, me did promise you to. So me never either go take it no more in silence. But I have people that judge me and I make it look like me just want to get up and come talk about domestic issues and talk about family issues. I live what I'm talking about. I've lived it and conquered it and survived it. So that I can sit here and tell you, say, you can overcome any darkness where you go through in your life. You can overcome it. Don't make nobody re-victimize you after them rape you. If a lesbian rape you, if a homosexual person rape you, you know, I forgive them your soul in return because of that. All you have to do is turn to the Almighty Creator, whoever you conceive Him to be, and ask Him to be there in your life. You go check my check record, no man. You go check where Queen Africa do, no man. And that's why them fight me so because them don't want the people to realize that there's a way out of darkness, man. There's a way out of darkness, man. And we cannot sit down and make them continue to do this to us as victims of this society man because it's not fear for you to victimize someone and then want them to turn around and defend you and defend what you're doing it's not fear so when the item see me take up this me not take up this car me i look no friend from no one me i take up this because i want some little girl and some little boy if you know say you can overcome incest you can overcome rape you can overcome abuse by loving yourself. And when I say love yourself, I mean like seriously loving yourself for real. No matter how you feel. Sometimes you feel like hang yourself. Sometimes you feel like jump off of somewhere. Sometimes you feel like why me evil did burn in the first place. And then something is coming at your head and say, because God have a purpose for you. A way of heal ourselves. Jamaican people. A we have to heal ourselves. I am turning to you because I'm not turning to them. I'm turning to you, the people, because I'm not turning to the satanic movement. I'm not surrendering to the devil. I will never surrender to the devil. I will never surrender to the devil. I give everything to the almighty creator who make all things. Who oh, am to know? The families them can start ill by people in other families them accepting the wrongs them in other family them where them are do. And family members start protect the wrongdoers them in other family them. Call them out. Call them out. That's why we have so much predators because the victim them so afraid and ashamed because of where people are gonna think about them and my family even go as far as to say a lie, me I tell Pan Derek Morgan. Some of them say a lie, me I tell, and, 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 and why would I make me? Them I say, me allow him to do that to me. Me just want to meet my father and know my father and can boast say me have a father in my life. And that him do to me. And I'm me wrong. And I'm me.